so look first of all what I'm gonna say is uh, I'm not playing any of the audio from this um, this interview and if you want to see it and you haven't seen it head over to justice for all they have everything well done but I do have to comment on it um, <laughs> look at check this out look. I don't know whether you can see that trees just fallen down randomly anyway look so I'm not buying it I'm sorry but I'm not buying it I, I can't I, for the life of me I wish I could I do not doubt that some of the stuff that Jose is saying is accurate accurate and he's given you a an interpretation of a twisted truth because look and I'm going to tell you why I don't buy it because what it seems to me is, look, he's obviously said some things that are damning to Candace. Because ultimately he couldn't just go on there and paint Candace out to be a complete saint. He couldn't because no nobody would have then believed him. He would have been discredited immediately and you wouldn't have listened to it. So he had to give you something. He had to give you some information that seemed damning enough to put him in the realms of look this guy is is thinking about summer but what didn't really matter because we all pretty much knew how, how many times have i said that she was grooming that child jesus christ it wasn't it wasn't rocket science to work out what was going there but what it does do however is prove that hunter is a liar and he was lying for candace Remember, now, Jose turns around and says, someone was always running off, which was proven. It was proven earlier on. Um, Don Surfy um, Senior had said that they'd seen him up by the road. You know, it's, these these children would be running about. I can, I can see it now. It was harder to believe they didn't run off. But for some specific reason, Candace wanted people to believe that someone wouldn't run off and Hunter lied for her. So Hunter's a liar. So anything he says now is completely discredited. I don't believe him. But he also tried to throw Candace under the bus in the same manner with which Jose did. So, look, again, it offers some degree of credibility to things he says. But um, I think that's kind of all for show. But hear me out, hear me out. So what we're, what we're meant to believe is that Don is a, a massive tyrant. He's a tyrant. He was throwing kittens into dog pens in front of Summer, and he really tugged on the heartstrings of that one. Well done, Jose. Jose, sorry. And he managed to get into everybody's heads because of the way he was able to describe Summer. You know, he knew that that's what people wanted to hear. It hadn't been done, and he needed to get everyone's attention, and what better way to do it? This guy knows what he's doing. And a lot of people just fell for it, hook, line, and sinker, because of their emotional connection to the case and, and their emotional connection to Summer. But look, if you ain't part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And the be all and end all is, you was there, you watched it, you cleared off for nine months, and I hear people going, ah, oh, but he had a breakdown, he had his own problems. Who hasn't got problems? Who hasn't got problems? Does that mean if you've got a problem that you can ignore children being abused? Physically, emotionally. Let me know what you think down below. Do you do you think that? Do you think that that's an excuse? Do you know how many children are killed or go missing that could have been avoided? Could have been helped, could have been saved, didn't have to happen, but it happened because people didn't say anything. You think of the latest ones, Monkey Vaughan, if we go down the route of abduction, why did he get abducted? abducted? Well, he got abducted primarily because the gate could have potentially been left open, so he wandered out. But apparently, neighbours had seen him wandering the streets. Now, they saw a five-year-old child wandering the streets at 6.30, 7pm, and didn't think to get hold of him and take him home. <sighs> what the fuck? Again, I could go on. You look at cases in the UK, like Summer Well, um, not Summer, Summer Wells on my brain. Star Hobson, Arthur Labinio Hughes, were killed because people who knew stuff was happening didn't speak up. 
So, sorry, Jose, but that shit just ain't going to cut it. It's not going to cut it that you was going through stuff and you you had to go off the grid, which just happened to coincide with 13 raids across Tennessee that saw 130 child traffickers being arrested and you throwing your phone into the ocean so nothing could be found. That's, why would somebody throw their phone in the ocean? Switch it off, snap the SIM. Don't turn it back on. Throwing it in the ocean. But look, so we're, we're supposed to be led to believe that Don is this absolute tyrant. Absolute tyrant, controlling everybody. And you went on to, again, like we mentioned earlier, throw kittens to dogs. But look, this is the way I see it. Little dog behind me, look, I've been photobombed. Is, if a Don was such a tyrant, in his tyrannical being. And why didn't you just bounce your ass off his property? Why did he put up with you? He didn't want you there. Candace wanted you there. So why didn't he just tell you to piss off? Why has Grandis got her pla- got her motorhome, whatever it is, on the um on the land? He could just tell her to leave. She'd go park up down the road. Seems to me like Don is putting up with a lot of things. Look, I'm not a Don supporter. I'm not. Don has got issues. Don's got problems. And again, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. But look, I'm not going with this. He was some sort of tyrannical beast. Because at the end of the day, he has just kicked you out. But he was going on with what Candace wanted. Even after someone went missing, this guy is seemingly still supportive of Candace. But he has made reference to Candace's friends, which I would imagine is um, is you. So there are elements of this that just don't sit right with me. And I could go on. I could go on. But ultimately, this is about summer. And yet again, his timing was impeccable. Just as we saw Candace descending into the abyss of destruction and people were talking about the potential for something happening to her. All of a sudden, you ride in, galloping in on your steed. Well, no, sliding in on your slug. And you've got these stories to tell everyone. Now, this is what I think. I'm going to go with the um, the kitten story. Because this is my take on it. I think that Don, for a long time, has been putting up with Candace and Grandis and their shit. And... He didn't want you in the house. Didn't want you in the house. You'd already fallen out over the the way in which he was parenting the children, like the shower, which I get, it's a little bit friggin' weird. But you'd already had you fallen out and he wanted you gone. He was annoyed, he was angry, he'd been working. Working long hours, coming home and being told he's got to wash up, cook, clean. And um, he snapped. And he threw Summer's kitten into the dogs. And what did he exclaim? It's up to him who's in his house. I won't direct it at Summer, and it certainly won't direct it at that kitten. Direct at you, Jose. It's direct at you because he didn't want you there. That's my take on things. I don't know what you guys think, but just don't buy it. Just don't buy it. You didn't know what was going on. Didn't know what was going on. But he did know that Candy's YouTube name was grandus and I'm gonna leave you with this my last point now if this guy knows all this and he's he wanted to help summer and he'd have gone to TBI he'd have told them everything told them everything he knows even thrown himself under the bus if he needed to that's cathartic for you and then he would have kept his mouth shut kept his mouth shut and that's what he would have done. But instead, he went on YouTube. So anything that he's now given to TBI or the FBI or whoever he's spoken to, especially naming Can- Candace and Hunter in the allegations that he put, how does he think that's ever going to go down in court now? What you have systematically done if you've gone to law enforcement and told all of this and then gone onto this platform and told everyone what you told them, you've just rendered all of that useless. Absolutely useless. So you've actually done more harm than good. But there you go. 
as long as everybody gets their five minutes of drama and can feel for a few minutes that everything's becoming clearer. Now everything was clear in the first place, people just weren't paying attention and they needed this guy to come along and cross the T's and dot the I's for them. Well, I was already way ahead of you and maybe people will start catching up to what's going on here too very, very soon. But let me know what you think. This has been Harsh Reality. I'm harsh and um, you're going to get to learn just how harsh I am as time progresses. Take care.